rolling launch. Hey guys, it's Luke here. Welcome back to another video. You join me today with an S38V. These cars are pretty much the direct rival to my Golf R and I've filmed numerous of these. Of course, the MQB platform, uh, these cars, the Golf Rs and also the Cupras are pretty much a regular on this channel, but I don't think I've filmed an S3 which has had as much work as this one. This is a fully fledged stage three car running 600 brake horsepower, fully forged engine, and a ton of supporting mods. It's a DSG car as well, so it's not a manual unlike my Golf R, but it's gonna be absolutely brutal. 600 horsepower one of these things is gonna be a lot of fun indeed. Of course, we are joined with Ricky, the owner of the car. I'll introduce you to him very shortly. He can walk us around basically what he's done to it before we go out and experience the 600 horsepower Audi S3. Okay, we're joined now with Ricky, the owner of the car, mate. Thank you so much for bringing this absolute weapon down for me to film today. 600 horsepower. It's a lot of power, <laughs> a lot of power indeed. Of course, we've got the bonnet open. It's a forged engine, got hybrid turbo and everything like that. So yeah, if it's all right to, to give us a, a bit of a walkthrough, yeah. uh, um, that'd be great. So as you said, it's a forged engine, forged mm -hmm. bottom end with a 83 mil Wilson pistons, which are 0.5 mil oversized okay. from my factory. Yep. Um, it was built by Aries Tuning, Nathan, Dave, and uh, Charlie. Yep. Obviously, as per usual, done an amazing job with it. Um, took it to Unicorn to get it mapped. Yep. Um, made 600 horsepower on the highest map, on the high boost with meth. Mm -hmm. Comes down to, without meth, to 585. Okay. And then yep. low boost is 525. Cool. Oh, so you've got switchable maps. So you switchable can, maps, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool. Uh, and then turbo-wise, what is it you're running on So there? we've got um, a Venom 550 turbo. Make it to a Ramir intake with the... Turbo muffler delete and turbo elbow and all. Yeah, uh, all catch can as well, I see. Uh, from CVP, actually. Ah, from Custom Bad Parts. Yeah. Uh, good um, mate of mine. Intercooler wise, what is it you're running? Uh, so we've got a racing line intercooler. Yep. Um, bigger boost pipes as well. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, 600 horsepower in one of these. It's got to be one of the most powerful in the UK, I imagine. Um, I, I, I was just <laughs> amongst them. There are definitely a, f a few more powerful, but it's, oh, it'll, exactly. be, it'll be in the conversation, I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, to be honest, as we were saying off camera, most people, go crazy on like the Golf Rs or maybe even the Coopers as well. Yeah, exactly. For some reason, people don't tend to do it on, on the S3. Yeah. I'm not yeah. too sure why. Yeah, I don't know why, because it's, well, it's, it's pretty much exactly the same as the other two. Yeah, well, exactly, yeah. Maybe not the Cooper because it's front-wheel drive, but yeah. but yeah, no, mega thing. Really, really cool. It looks stunning in red as well. Moving around, though, to the wheels. What is it that we're running on the car at the moment? So we have uh, 18s, JR30. Mm -hmm. um, the brakes are VBT, j yep. 340 by 30. Porsche Macan four pots with Ferrado DS2500 saw rounds. Yeah, no, good choice. Good choice. Is the stock brakes, are the brakes stock? Are they? At the rear, they're stock. Yeah. The brakes, um, it's just the pads that are different. Yeah, yeah that's fair play. Uh, and suspension wise as well? Um, it's just HR lowering springs with a okay. 30 more drop. Yeah. No, it sits really well actually. Look at that. Down the side. Um, I forgot to mention, I've got spacers at the front, 12 mil. Yeah. Um, the rear, I need to put spacers on there to be honest because it looks a bit off key. From the front. I see what you mean, yeah. But yeah, look at the front there. That sits very well. Um, one interesting thing uh, to do with the back is the RS3 style exhaust, which actually looks really cool. Uh, is that like literally just the tips or is it a back box? Uh, no, it's a Scorpion RS3 back box. Um, oh, okay. So it's just welded onto a Miltec mid pipe. Yeah. So initially I had the car stage three um, mm -hmm. before I forged the engine. Yep. And the Miltec back box was quite suffocating. So I got rid of that, got yeah. this quite cheap actually and just welded it on mega but yeah no 600 brake in one of these it's going to be pretty lively pretty lively indeed is it the the standard gearbox or is it uh yeah built so or anything? this is a pre face lift so it's got a D dq 250 taking it to qst to get a tvs stage three map which uh -huh. is amazing yeah 
Um, they're also put in new OEM clutch packs. Yep. Um, it's running 530 foot pound of torque, so it's right on the limit. Wow, okay, yeah. Um, so yeah. a DQ500 will need to go on it at some point. Yeah, um, that's the plan. Yeah. yeah, Fair enough, man. But yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like, really, because I've been in a 600 plus brake uh, Mark 7 Golf R, obviously it's naturally going to feel quite similar to this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, some serious power out of this. So if, uh, if that's pretty much everything, I think we'll get it fired up and, and go for a spin. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Spins a little bit naturally because it's like minus one. When that hooks up, that just <laughs> it just goes. <laughs> that is rapid. Sounds insane. <laughs> <laughs> this thing absolutely flies. Yeah, just play for it. Yeah. So what else you got planned for it? Because it's, I mean, it's evolved massively since yeah. you bought it, right? I mean, I think I got it as a stage one. Yeah. Uh, some time ago, and then uh, took it to stage three, spun mm -hmm. rod bearing. Oh no. Um, yeah. And that was, it's because of this, the mileage of the car, to be honest. It's not a new car, it's a pre phase lift. Yeah, these things happen, especially when you push them, I suppose, yeah, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, it was, it was a pretty safe map, but it was an oil pump that failed and caused oil starvation. Ah. Uh, and uh, spun a bearing. Yeah. And then, then you built it, and now you're here. Yeah, and now the plan is to hopefully do a DQ500. Yeah. Then I can uh, launch it as much as I want. No, that'd be, that'd be mega. Yeah, Absolutely I, mega. Because I suppose the limiting factor is the gearbox now, not the engine. Exactly, or the exactly. Turbo. You know, even the turbo, it wanted to make more. We had to hold it back because of, really? of the gearbox. So we had to hold it back to, <laughs> to 600 and uh, 530 for pound of torque. Yeah. So are we in high boost at the moment? We're in the highest map at yeah. the moment, yeah. yeah. I noticed a nice little indicator for the meth there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that basically comes on when it's on boost, basically. Yeah, it just shows you when the spring, so it's not meth dependent. It just yeah. uh, comes on the highest map. Okay. And even then it only comes on after a certain amount of boost pressure. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it indicates in that you do. Yeah, mate, it absolutely flies. <laughs> One thing which is really smart as well is, I'm not sure if you're going to see it on these angles, but a ton of carbon fibre in here. Yeah, so Door it's... Door cards uh, and centre console and everything. I mean, yeah, as like I was saying off camera, I'm not really one for like creature comforts or yeah. big spec cars or anything like that, interior wise. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was nice, the fact that it has carbon fibre trim in the yeah. interior. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love that raspiness you get. Yeah, it's loud, yeah, it's loud. It's really high pitched, even at like, well, low revs, low boost. Yeah. Basically, just hold the cruise control, floor it, exactly, and then let off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm missing out on all these party tricks because mine's manual. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of like other supporting mods under the engine bay, is there any like extra cooling, like an oil cooler or anything? Uh, not an oil cooler. I've got an yeah. iBad uh, baffled uh, alloy sump made out of aluminium. Uh, okay, yeah. And that is it, it works too well because it keeps the oils too, the oil temps too low sometimes. Oh, really? It takes forever to warm up. <laughs> 
I mean, it's something that if anybody's got a platform like this, I recommend it 1,000%. Yeah. Right? It's made such a difference in all temperatures. To be fair, I need to get baffled some for mine because where yeah. it's a track oriented car, there's a lot of, you know, movement within the sump yeah. in terms of the oil in it. So, yeah, I need to get that sorted, that's for sure. But definitely the highest powered S3 I've ever been in. <laughs> that's yeah, for sure. Doesn't um, matter. Yeah, it goes really well really well i mean it just it's just relentless it just keeps on going i think that's down to the mapper um, yeah rick he's just he's he does his pretty much on the daily and uh, yeah yeah it's just it's a pretty good machine a wizard absolute wizard but yeah man no it's uh cool to go out in a, in a high powered s3 because like we were saying when we're doing the walk around people always kind of gravitate towards the golf r slightly guilty um and i feel that maybe the coopers now are people starting to do big power coopers but when you got in touch and said, look, I've got a high-powered S3, I was like, oh, interesting, because I've never really come across any. But yeah, mate, thank you so much for, for coming down. Honestly, pleasure's all mine. Thank you for having me. Luke. I really appreciate it, really appreciate it. And of course, if you do want to learn more about the build, I will leave uh, Ricky's Instagram link down in the description down below. Uh, um, can I just give a big shout, uh, mention to my engine builder as well? Uh, yeah. Aries Tuning, um, Nathan and Dave, they built my engine and it's been running honestly like stock pretty much mm. when I needed to and the power on it is amazing so well there you go thanks again I've been in talks with Nathan actually for a while get some of his builds on the channel yeah, so. he actually has um, a, so many special builds yeah he, um, <laughs> uh, 800 I shouldn't mention how much what well, I just did but uh, <laughs> I'll just keep quiet get, get Nathan builds on there yeah I mean Nathan if you're watching we'll get something sorted <laughs> but yeah that is it for me today I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.